okay jadeep so now we are going to start your mock interview for um, phd in iit bombay and the date of interview is on 18 19th or 20th of may okay uh, so before you proceed i jadeep uh, give us your introduction uh, okay sir uh, my name is jadeep uh, i belong to uh, surat gujarat uh, my 10th and 12th year are 25 and 75 i have graduated uh, from government engineering college valsar in environmental engineering branch which 8.84 cgpa and uh, my get uh, i secured uh, all india rank 88 in weight environmental science and engineering uh, in uh, 2022 okay so you secured an all india rank of 88 yes sir okay in environmental science and engineering okay so that is what is written in your sop okay yes so uh, Uh, Jaydeep, tell me why you want to pursue direct PhD? Why not go for M Tech and then come to PhD? Yes, sir. Uh, sir, reason is that uh, like uh, I want to enter into the academia and uh, I I want to go into the research world. Uh, for that, uh, like if I do M Tech, then ultimately I have to go for the PhD. Then why not direct PhD? Okay. And, uh, so, what okay. kind of uh, work experience you have done? like what kind of uh, internship or something related to environment you have done uh yes yeah, uh, sir uh, i have done uh, project in my family a project uh, which was uh, on uh, waste water treatment area in that i have done uh, advanced oxidation uh, process and in that pension uh, process and uh, also i have worked on the rotating biological conductor uh, in my family year project also. okay Uh, it was not uh, i mean i have not worked a lot because of the covid but uh, for one or two months i have worked but i really uh, work well in in that process okay so uh, in your sop you have mentioned that you have done a final year project on waste water treatment by fenton process yes sir fenton process okay uh, can you tell me what is this fenton process ah uh, yes sir Uh, in Fenton process, uh, we use the uh, uh, Fe2 plus uh, or FeSO4, and uh, this is we use as a catalyst, and we use H2O2. Uh, H2O2 will produce the OH radical, and this OH radical will degrade the organic matter uh, or any other metal, uh, any other uh, contaminants. Okay, uh, Jaydeep, can you tell me what is the difference between a radical and an ion? Uh, sir, radical. Uh, no, sir, I'm not uh, having a check idea, but uh, uh, I can just roughly give idea like radical usually uh, attack on a uh, particular compound and uh, convert into the other form, but iron usually does not. Uh, Uh, mm-hmm. Attack the particular compound and uh, degrade it. This is what basic difference mm-hmm. I know. Yeah. Okay, ठीक है इसमें. अच्छा अब मुझे बताएं जैसे आपने लिखा है that you had done an internship at APSED yes. where your designation was subject okay. matter okay. expert. Yes sir. Okay. So uh, what was your role? What you had to do in this? Uh, sir, I usually. Uh, my role was to uh, uh, creating a question bank and the uh, uh, content for gate environmental science okay for gate environmental science which yes, subject sir. you were doing uh, like all of the subject uh, which are part of the environmental science in the syllabus okay so okay so are you comfortable in environmental chemistry uh Uh, actually uh, i uh, i'm comfortable with uh, uh, water quality parameter and uh, like uh, waste water nature things uh, i'm not uh, comfortable with uh, pure chemistry okay okay so jaydeep can you tell me what is the ph of uh, 10 to the power minus 3 molar hcl solution uh, 10 to the power hcl so it's a uh, 3 ph okay And what is the pH of ten to the power minus six molar HCl? Ah, uh, it is six pH. 
okay well, um, like i want to ask one more thing uh, what will be the ph of 10 to the power minus 8 molar hcl 10 to the power minus 8 uh, sir that is around uh, it is 7 Uh, seven. Yes, it is seven. Yes, sir. Because, how, uh, how come seven? Ah, yes, sir. Uh, because uh, in this case, ten to minus seven. Uh, uh, in the uh, just a minute, sir. Uh, yes, sir. In the uh, not exactly recalling. Sorry, sir. I'm not able to recall exact reason right now, but I know that uh, because water has minus to minus seven uh, H plus mm -hmm. ion. Mm -hmm. So that. Uh, we usually neglect uh, ten to minus seven because uh, what happened in uh, earlier cases, like uh, it has ten to minus three or ten to minus three. In that case, ten to minus seven is neglected because it is a very low value. But uh, here, ten to minus seven is not neglected, so that is why ten to correct, uh, correct, correct. <laughs> yes. Okay, fine. So apart from your water quality parameters, what all uh, subjects do you take? uh so usually uh, in uh, date or gate gate yes uh in gate uh, uh first is uh, my priority is uh, i waste water treatment water and waste water treatment is my strong area and then uh, air pollution mm -hmm. and then uh, uh, solid waste treatment these are the uh, uh, actually in iit bombay uh, form They usually uh, they ask the priority. In that, I first give priority water and wastewater treatment, and in the second, solid waste management. Okay, so uh, Jaydeep, can you tell me what is the typical density of a solid waste? Uh, typical density of uh, if I talk about uh, municipal solid waste, uh, it is uh, around five uh, hundred. Uh, it is around five hundred. Is it permitted? Five hundred. Okay. Uh, Jyoti, what is the difference between organic matter and uh, biomass? Uh, sorry, sir. I am not sure about this. Uh, I know a little bit, but I am not sure about this. Okay, Jyoti, it's fine. Okay, Jyoti, please tell me. After completing your PhD, what is your career objective? What do you want to do next? Sir, after the uh, PhD, uh, I will uh, go for the postdoc, and after postdoc, I will join the academia. Okay. Uh, one more question, Ajayip. Uh, if you uh, get selected as a PhD scholar in IIT Bombay in this uh, department, uh, what is going to be your area of interest? Uh, my area of interest will be obviously waste water treatment, and in that uh, uh, waste water treatment, uh, advanced waste water treatment technology would be my priority. And in that uh, advanced oxidation process, I would like to work on that. Okay, so you have done oxidation pond before? Uh, no, sir. Oxidation pond is a bit uh, outdated concept uh, right now, so. I have studied this concept uh, uh, in my college days, but uh, did not uh, research on it. Just like uh, so, how is me? Advance? What plan are you doing? Sir, advance oxidation process is like uh, like there are a lot of advance oxidation processes, uh, like a pentane process, like uh, ozone of ozone. Uh, we use ozone, like uh, photopentane, mm -hmm. uh, mm -hmm. and. Uh, And there are sono pentan, and uh, there are, I'm not uh, familiar with all of the uh, advanced oxidation process, but there are a lot of uh, advanced oxidation process available. Okay, okay, Jadi, okay, it's fine. So yes, sir, Vikram sir. Okay, uh, thank you, sir. Yes, uh, Jadi. Uh, yes, sir. 
So can you tell me the basic component of environment? Uh, basic component of uh, environment. Yes. yes, yes. Right. Sir, I'm not sure about this. I know, but I'm not sure. Okay. So, uh, can you tell me uh, this? Uh, if you talk about the environmental education, then what is the meaning of uh, this environmental education, and uh, what is the objective of this environmental education? Environmental education, uh, sir. Environmental education. Uh, uh, what I understand is uh, environmental education is uh, is uh, used to. Sir, uh, you are talking about. Uh, in terms of engineering or uh, general studies? Yes, yes, uh, in terms of engineering. Engineering, yes, sir. So, uh, in terms of engineering, environmental, uh, environmental uh, uh, course is like, uh, it is designed to uh, teach a student how to solve the uh, environmental problems, like in terms of water or wastewater or in terms of air pollution or environment. So it is designed to uh, teach students to how they can cure these environmental problems. So uh, that is basically kind of the uh, meaning of uh, you, you are just saying the objective. So if someone has to told uh, what is this uh, environmental education, then how will you define it? Uh, environmental education. So in a general sense, sense. If, we, if we talk about in a generalized way, then how will you define this environmental education? Environmental education, uh, I think it is used to... Okay, so can you tell me uh, the, uh, how many principal gases are there in the atmosphere? Uh, in the atmosphere? Uh, should I uh, tell you percentage or a name of the gases? Just, just, I, I just want to know the gases. I, I didn't want any percentage. Uh, so, uh, there are a uh, lot of uh, gases like uh, nitrogen, carbon, uh, CO2, uh, then oxygen, uh, argon, helium, neon. So, there are a number of gases. Uh, Like, uh, can, you define what is, uh, yeah. can you define what is ecosystem? Uh, ecosystem. So, uh, ecosystem in which uh, living and uh, non-living things are interacting. Like, uh, like uh, ecosystem can be anything uh, like a small water droplet or it can be a whole city. Okay, so if you talk about the portable water, then what is its pH range? Uh, portable water pH range is around 6.5 to 8.5. Okay, and how will you define the pH? Uh, pH, uh, sorry, uh, it is the potential of uh, hydrogen, like the... Uh, yeah, uh, it's plus uh, how much H plus concentration uh, ion is plus I, hydrogen is plus ion concentration uh, present in the in the water. Okay. Okay. If we talk about the cyclonic precipitation, then uh, how it forms? Uh, cyclonic precipitation. Sir, I'm not sure about this. It is uh, maybe because of the negative pressure form inside the uh, into into the center. I'm not sure about this. Okay, can you tell me what is this hydrograph? Hydrograph, yes. uh, sir. It is the uh, it is the uh, graph flow versus time. You uh. Can you repeat uh, what is that, JD? 
sorry sir can you repeat uh, what you said actually there was some interruption in voice can you repeat again ah okay sir sir the hydrograph uh, it is the graph of flow versus time Okay, and uh, if we talk about uh, uh, this uh, hydrograph, helpful us in uh, for uh, what kind of activity? How, how can we utilize this hydrograph? Okay, sir. Oh, uh, sir. For example, uh, uh, in a particular city, uh, suppose we know that you need hydrograph of. Uh, a city then uh, we can calculate uh, its two over uh, uh, suppose uh, if you know the unit hydrograph of a particular area and uh, for example if uh, rainfall uh, rain comes for two hour or for three hour then in this case uh, we can estimate the uh, uh, Flood discharge. You can estimate the flood discharge of the casement. Okay, so uh, Jayadeep, this is my last question to you. If we talk about uh, Ardan Dam, so the topmost flow line is the generally we call it a particular name. So can you tell me first of all what is the name to that topmost flow line? So what area is it? Okay, so uh, yes, uh, Ruchin sir. Yes, sir. Uh, you can uh, give the feedback, sir. Okay. So uh, yes, uh, Jadi. Yes, sir. Uh, so just have a look on the basic thing of the environment. Okay. Sir, I actually was not prepared for this because I have chosen the area of wastewater treatment or solid waste management. This question was uh, unexpected. Yeah. Okay, you prepared the waste water, right? Yes, waste because uh, in that I want to go into. Uh, I mean, in PhD, I would like to work in that area, and um, it is very specified. Okay, but I think uh, I I'll just uh, ask the basic thing if you are talk about the environment. So. Uh, basic component of environment are nothing just kind of uh, biotic or biotic like your inorganic or organic things. Yes, sir, it is possible. Okay, that, that basically I just want to check your presence of brain. So I, yes. I just want to check uh, whether you are just uh, present in the smog is uh, physically or mentally or both. That uh, basically the purpose of mine to check your uh, presence of brain. Anyhow, so have a look on the basic thing, and uh, as you told to, you just prepare the waste water and uh, uh, what you said the water uh, quality solid, parameter. Solid waste. Uh -huh. Solid waste. Yes. yes. Yeah. Anyhow, so no issue. So next time we prepare with them. Uh, when is your interview? Uh, 18, 19, 20 May. Uh, 18, 19, 20. Okay. Okay. Yes. Yes. Uh,